Yo guys, what is going on? I am Legacy and I am back with another video. Um, this is going to be a confirmed, yes, not leaked. Well, it's kind of leaked, but it's going to be confirmed ratings from EA themselves. Um, they re released this little trailer of um, our ratings and stuff like that. Because um, they're apparently releasing the top 100 or something on like the 14th, uh, something like that. But, but they released this video on Twitter. And there are a few, I think there's five rating reveals. Technically six, but the Odegaard, we couldn't see the rating. We can only see a few of his stats. Um, so I didn't put that in this video. But check the video out, it's on EA's, EA's Twitter. But straight away, we're gonna go straight away, we're gonna go with the man from Tottenham, the Dutch winger. Actually, well, actually, let me not speak too soon. Um Bergwijn or Bergwijn. I don't know how you say his name properly. Um, he started off FIFA 20 with an 82 rated, decent stats. Um, he came in January, I believe it was. Played played very well actually. He scored on his debut, I believe. And in FIFA 21, he's going to be at 83. However, this is the only player where they did not reveal any of his stats. None of his stats were revealed. All we know is that he's going to be an 83 left mid instead of an 82 left winger. So. I, you know that's all right. It's not nothing crazy. You know, um, I expected him to get upgrade. Uh, he played well for Spurs. He had a great season even before he went to Spurs. So yeah, the next player we're gonna go to is the young Englishman from Man City, Foden, Phil Foden. Um, he, I mean, his FIFA 20 card wasn't good. To be fair, it was it was eh. You know, it was alright. No one really cared for it. In FIFA 21 though. He could be a bit of a banger, plus free upgrade, you know, maybe for your starter team, he's got decent pace, 75 pace, 81 dribbling, 70 shooting, 56, I mean, no one cares about the defending, but you know, for the starter team, it's not too bad, it's, it's really not too bad, I mean, the shooting is a bit iffy, but you know, hopefully, you know, it's, it's more to do with his shot power than it is to do with his actual finishing, because if his finishing, then it's just going to be... A nightmare you know bad finishes are terrible on fifa anyway phil foden plus three that's all right you know and no nothing too crazy again next we have the chelsea man his competition for the england team because they're similar age as well they're around 19 20 i think or 21 around that age mason mount 79 rated in fifa 20 very solid starter card with decent shooting decent dribbling all, all right pace good part like, decent passing um he gets a plus one um i'm not sure about his position because apparently he might be converted to a center mid however again it's a solid card especially for the beginning of fifa um a lot of people are gonna have him in his team he gets good links with other english players he is he, solid he's solid next we're gonna go with the brazilian I mean, I could say the Brazilian from Real Madrid, but there's about like 20 of them. Um, Rodrigo, he started off as a left wing, 76 rated. This very good card, actually. This is a very, very good card. However, FIFA 21, he's a bit of a banger, you know. He is. The only bad thing is that he's a right winger with a right foot. And I don't know, I just, I find, I'd rather have my wingers be opposite foot to where they play. So... For example, Rodrigo's right footed, I'd rather him play on the left so he can cut in and finish, vice versa on the right wing, blah blah. Um He's a very solid card. Good shooting, good pace, good dribbling. Um we don't know about his physicals or passing. Um very, very solid card, especially for La Liga, because La Liga is one of them leagues where there's not unless you get the top players. There's not many, you know, great starter cards, but Rodrigo's definitely one of them. Next, we have one of the Hernandez brothers. The 76 rated left back. He had an amazing season for AC Milan. Um, fast, pacey, strong, tall, great dribbling. He can, he scores goals as well. What more could you ask for? Um, I did mess up on this um, image a little bit. Because it says he is still 76 rated, which he isn't. He's actually an 80 rated left back now. Personally, I would have put him as an 82. Just because I think 80 is too low. 80 is too low. He is he's 
great. He is great. Um, 92 pace, again, is still very fast. Like, you cannot complain about that pace. He's gone up in defending, 74 defending, which is all right. 77 dribbling, um, 67 shooting, which, I mean, I don't know if you want to be scoring goals with him, but if you ever need to, he might be able to pop in a goal. Um, yeah, man. And I believe that that is it for now. So, guys, that has been it for this video. Those are the confirmed ratings and a few confirmed stats from EA themselves. This isn't leaked. No one's made it up. You know, this is from EA themselves. So, I hope you enjoyed. As soon as I find out any more player ratings or anything that can help you guys or just entertain you guys, I will definitely make a video on it. And, yeah, guys, I hope you guys have an amazing day. I'm Legacy and I'm out.